Hi guys, Roxanne here from Tiny Home Living. Well, we got another busy day ahead of us. Um, I've had more friends talking about how their gardens are already sprouting, their potatoes are up and their corn is up and we haven't even planted yet. So now we're really feeling under the gun. But um, the first thing we're going to do is go out and water those little trees and then we've got <clears throat> to get that fencing done today for those meat birds. We have got to get them outside. So let's get going. So I got all these pails and buckets filled up yesterday. So the first thing we're going to do is get those little trees watered so that we can um, use the trailer to get straw for the chickens and put it in the chicken tractor for them to sleep in at night. And of course Chris mowed a lot last night so you can see the next chore raking up all this grass and taking it over to the compost. Yikes. Some of them are looking a little droopy, but uh, this should perk them up, hopefully. <laughs> so you can see how nice the tree line looks on that side of the property, and that's the goal, to have the same thing on this side of the property. These actually weren't too bad. Some of them are a little droopy, but like I said before, we're going to continue right down to the front of the property. Now because the walkway here is going to be so small, we've decided to move the tractor over here out of the way. Chris is going to drop one small tree and then we're going to turn the tractor so that the door is facing this way and it'll give us a little bit more room to get in and out. Chris is just stapling that uh, tarp back on before we put the big tarp over the whole thing. better it's got way more room at the front now we can go in the gate and go right to the door and there's room around it all the way and there's no gaps at the bottom that we struggled with last year with the little devils getting out we're taking all the brush and stuff up to the front and the driveway where we burned it in the spring we did that when it was still surrounded by snow um, just to be on the safe side and uh, we're gonna have to leave this maybe even till winter to burn because of the burn ban and uh, we'll just leave it there. It'll be nice and dry by the time we want to burn it. Now we got to get the tarp on top of it. And we're doing it over the whole tractor again. This way they'll have shelter from the rain. Keep them nice and dry and the ground sloping a little bit so if it does rain it'll run out the back. They won't be sitting in water. That was a real struggle last year with it out in the field. Chris is putting uh, duct tape along here because of the wires so they don't poke in the tarp and make holes in it. So what Chris is doing is putting washers behind the screws and that way they don't tear through the tarp as easily. So we've got the water ready. This pail has nipples on the bottom. I'm going to put some food in the trough and we're going to bring the turkeys out here first because we need the bin they're in to transport the rest of the little monkeys. Time to get out in the sunshine. Look at the wide world. Oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Here, I'll take... Ugh. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, they're quite a bit smaller. <sighs> what is going on? I think they're big enough to... Yes. What is going on? My goodness. Oh, you're going to love it out here. <laughs> oh, yes. You can jump and run. Happy days. Beep, beep, beep. Mm. Haven't lost one turkey. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> Helps pay for the feed. What do you think, guys? See? They just don't know what to make of this. They'll be happy pretty soon. That bin is just so crowded for them. So happy to have them out here. And I'm happy that we're going to get the meat birds into the chicken tractor now. These guys like to roost too, so those high roosts out here, they'll just love it. So we decided to put the meat birds or the turkeys in here because they didn't know where their water was. We're going to put some fresh straw in that black bin and try and get them to cuddle in there tonight. So they'll know that's their bed and then the other hens will still go in here. These guys are not really too impressed because they're crowding into the shade in the corner there. <laughs> But this is the best thing, I think, to get these guys to know where their new home is and their food and water's here and they're in the shade. And uh, I think they're going to be super happy. Tomorrow we'll let them out to wander around the run. And, uh, and then I think they'll all end up perching up there together. The other birds are going in here during the day in the shade anyway. So they've got shade and now these guys have got shade. Now we're going to go get those meat birds. Taking the meat birds to their happy place. All for now. Pretty hard to keep them from jumping out of here. Moving keeps them a little bit scared. They're just stunned. <laughs> Where are we? Well, we have 49 very, very happy meat birds. They are just loving the grass already, running around. It's good for them. They get so fat so fast, it's good for them to be able to move. We've got lots of places to perch. We've got feed in the trough, water. Life is good. Now we gotta get the fence up so we can let them loose. I left both of these doors open for a few days and Mama Robin took that opportunity to make a nest up there. So she was flying in circles. I don't know if she went up in the loft. Um, that's the nest from last year above the ladder. So I'm surprised she didn't use the same one, but she's got a bigger one built up there. So I'll have to check it later and see if there's any eggs yet. So we'll have to leave the store open all the time so she can get in and out.
fence post in the middle here because as soon as we try and put it on that tree, it comes up off the ground here. Uh, we might still have to put a scrap at the bottom there. A little too much uh, room for them to get out. this end done. One more end to do. Chris thought we were done. He forgot about this end. He was ready for his nap. Gotta get this side done first. Measure twice, cut once. We measure and walk away and neither one of us can remember what the number was. So it's even more important for us to measure twice. tree to snail and then somebody can go have his nappy. And that scrap piece there just happens to be the right size to do the gate which we are doing tomorrow because we're whooped. These guys are happy in here. They're drinking. We didn't even have to show them how to use that thing. And they got lots of food. So we're going to leave them in there tonight and that way when we let them out they'll know to come back in here for the food and water. This is going to be a super area for them and the old people don't have to move the chicken tractor every day. It's high and dry here and um, that's it. So we are done for today. Somebody needs his nap and I need to go do some sewing. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.